He absolutely wrecked that setup. He was pissed. I don't know what kind of hit I made on that bird. Look at that. You talking about a bully beat down. Jack has got his beak broke off this morning. He got jacked up. And Billy didn't fare too well either. Good grief, that was some kind of awesome. I didn't make the best hit on this turkey. I was a little forward and a little low. Had me a little concerned. Went down there and found a nice blood trail and tracked him right up and found him. My, what a, what a hunt. Kind of wanted to tell a little bit about this decoy setup that worked so well this morning. And I actually came up with this idea back before season. I got to Jack in, which is the decoy with an inflatable body, but you also have to inflate a bladder that, that holds his head up really erect. I was setting him up one day without the head part inflated and his head drooped down and I, that looks exactly like a tom that's over the top of another wounded tom. So I came up with this idea to set Jack up like so and set Billy up in more of a wounded posture with his tail feathers spread a little bit. But it looks exactly like the scenario that's created when they shoot a turkey and other turkeys get on top of them. And this really has the drawing power that I've never seen in any other decoy setup. And what is really the key ingredient how you make this setup is the versatility of the Cherokee Sports decoys. They are the only decoys on the market where you can come up use their versatility for your creativity and that is just an it's just an awesome way to go because you can tweak them you can set them up i've seen some people that inflate billy's body fully and he, they inflate his tail feathers in a half strut look i've seen hands that are down on the breeding position down low that triggers a response from a, a really uh, gobbler that's really wanting to mate and then this setup triggered the fighting side of a turkey this Tom come in by himself it's late season they're really really competing hard for the other hens and he just felt the need to kick these two but I mean and, and Jack literally got his beak broke off he got jacked up like uh, this is this is the best fighting scenario I have seen in it you know, on top of that, they're uh, they're lightweight and, and portable. I mean, you deflate them, and it's just to me, it's the way to go. I know I'm kind of overselling the decoys, but for goodness sakes, sometimes you got to tell what you're doing to to have the success that you are. And uh, this setup here, would... <laughs> I will use it again.